Okay, first tutorial, ever so simple. And I apologise for the English rain. It's not stopped all year. Really, we've had about five days of summer. So, I'm going to start off making something incredibly simple with this stuff. It's called Pozella. P-O-R-Z-E-L-L-A. And it's brilliant stuff. Really soft and squidgy. So, one of this. I'll put the link at the bottom of the video later on. I have to admit, I haven't got a clue how to edit, edit these videos, so anything I'm going to do is just going to be actually just as I do it. There's no way I'm going to be able to pause it and edit. I've tried and it just doesn't matter, so this is right in the wrong, as it were. So, a little ball of porzello and maybe half as much, so that much. Squidge it a little bit, like that, and then fur comb and press it in. Oh, it's nice. It really is. Can you see? Yes. Good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a few of these and put them onto a glass. It's the inside of an old picture frame ever so useful. And you can just leave it out in the air to dry. I've got a little drawing cabinet which serves as a shelf unit as well for me. I've made it out of uh, plywood, it's a box, and in it I've put the base of a propagating unit, the one that has a sort of plastic cover that you use for bringing on tender plants in the early spring to get them into the garden quicker. But the base gives off a really gentle heat I don't think I've ever propagated anything in it except papier mache actually. <laughs> Anyhow, that was at the bottom. And then I've screwed in a heat lamp that I used to use for the chickens when they were little. And that just sits there too. So if I want extra heat, it takes it up quite a lot. So this is what I'm going to do with these. So make a few of these. Well, make a few because um, maybe they'll get used for a necklace. I can imagine them looking really good actually. Um, what we can do is we can make a little curly bit out of um, mod rock because it's quite strong. I'll show you how to do that and we'll just attach it to the back and if it falls off we'll stick it on and then afterwards we'll soak the whole lot in resin so that it'll make it extra strong. Um, so basically just carry on doing that. So a few more. Actually, we'll make some thinner ones as well. They look a little bit thick. And if you think they're too thick, all you have to do is just roll them up and start again. So, easy peasy. She said. Like that. Maybe that has to um, be brushed off every now and again. Because little bits of um, the clay get stuck. Further on from just doing it straight like that, I have bought um, this stuff. It's called Silly Gum, which sounds silly because I've lisped all my life. It's a blue epoxy paste and a white one. And you mix an lump, equal lump of each together. And so it goes all sort of marbly blue and white and you keep on kneading it very quickly until it becomes a uniform pale blue. And then, imagine that was it, you just roll it into a ball and squidge it out and press into whatever you wanted to press into and then you'd leave it there until it hardened and then you just it only takes a few moments you'd pull it out and you'd end up with a mold and here is one I made earlier as they say and it's lovely actually so what you can do then is you can make lots and lots you can make them um, in resin and in polymer clay and in this air dried papier mache clay. Now, when you press it in, there's always bits that come out over the edge like that. Now, you can just be quite rough with it actually and just smooth off the outer edge, or you could be more precise. I quite like more of a rough look. And then try to sort of peel that bit off, and it should come off quite easily. That's it. Now, they differ a little bit from these. 
make this a bit smaller, I suppose, that's all. You can make them as large as you like by wrapping them around the fur comb and again leave them to dry. So we'll do a few of those, let them dry and then the next stage is we're going to coat them with um, silver leaf and take it a step further. So see you in a little while.